The unique thing about the celebrity list is that here we're measuring a combination of money and fame. So yes, we're looking at what people earned in the last 12 months, but we're also measuring fame. We use very specific numbers to measure fame. We look at how many Google blog hits each celebrity got. We look at how many times they were mentioned in print, how often on the radio. We give them a social networking power ranking, and then we also look at magazine covers. We put all of these numbers into an algorithm, and what it turns out is the list. Number 10 on our list is director Steven Spielberg. This was a very big year for Spielberg. First of all, his DreamWorks production company got into television in a big way. Spielberg had four shows on the air, including Terra Nova and Smash. Not all of these shows did well. Terra Nova, which was a very expensive sci-fi show about dinosaurs, has been canceled. But it shows that, that Spielberg is interested in TV and he sees it as an exciting new medium, which I think is going to be great for all of us. He also had two movies out at the same time this Christmas, War Horse and The Adventures of Tintin. The Adventures of Tintin did really well at the box office, especially abroad, earned a lot of money. War Horse not quite as much, but it was nominated for Best Picture. Number nine on our list is Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is an actor who three or four years ago you would have said, Tom Cruise is over, he's done. I mean, he had the whole couch jumping thing and he was criticizing Brooke Shields for taking medication and, and he just seemed to be making every PR mistake you could possibly make. Well, this year, here he is, ranked ninth on our celebrity list. Why is that? Mission Impossible 4. Mission Impossible 4 was huge. This film earned more than $600 million at the global box office. It was a gigantic hit. Cruz has been getting a ton of publicity, and it's the right kind of publicity. We're going to see him in Rock of Ages, where he's going to sing and show off his stuff. Then he'll have some more action movies. Tom Cruise is back in a big way. Number eight on our list is Katy Perry. The singer has had a gigantic year. Her album Teenage Dream has spawned more number one hits than almost any album ever. She continues to stay on the charts. She recently released some new hits, including Piece of Me, which is huge. Her new music is really being based around her divorce from comedian Russell Brown. That divorce got Katy Perry tons of attention, lots of press coverage, lots of covers of magazines. It's always sad when you see a divorce, but it does keep a celebrity in the news. In seventh place is Kim Kardashian. Now, I have a feeling this is going to be a slightly controversial addition to our list this year. Kim has never made the list. But let's talk about Kim Kardashian for a second. When we talk about fame, Kim Kardashian embodies fame. I mean, she's famous for being famous. So her fame numbers are off the charts. She also made a lot of money this year. She got paid a ton for her wedding that was broadcast on E! 10 million people watched it. She gets paid a lot for her show. She also has endorsements for products like Midori. Kim knows how to make money. In sixth place is Britney Spears. Again, here you have an artist who a couple of years ago everybody might have written off as really done. Yet Britney continues to tour. Her touring makes a lot of money. Now she's in the news because she's seen you know, with her children and she seems healthy and she's going to get married and it's all quite wonderful. That kind of fame, her touring money, Britney's still huge, there's no denying it and, and that's why she's in the top 10 of our list. Number five on our list is Lady Gaga. Now last year Lady Gaga was number one on our list. She had a ton of money from a big tour, she was getting lots of fame, she's a master at social networking. She sinks down to number five this year because she only had a few tour dates and she's just been a little bit quieter. I mean, of course, this is quiet by Lady Gaga standards. She still lands fifth on our list. In fourth place is Rihanna. Rihanna is new to our list. There are few singers who are seeing success like Rihanna. It seems like almost everything she touches turns into a hit. Her music is ubiquitous. You have songs like SNM. You know, they're everywhere on the radio. She's, of course, also starring in the movie Battleship, so she's got a burgeoning acting career. And Rihanna is just always in the press. I mean, she's beautiful and charismatic and interesting, so people want to write about her. But then you have this continuing saga of her relationship with Chris Brown. She tweets frequently. She's a very, very active tweeter, very strong on social networking. She's really a young superstar on the rise, and she's definitely earned her place on the Celebrity 100 this year. In third place is Justin Bieber. Now, in addition to being a huge pop star, which of course he is, 
Bieber is also becoming a really smart businessman. He's using his fame and investing in, in companies like Spotify. And that's something that you wouldn't expect, but it's, it's really, really smart. And we, of course, love to see celebrities doing this. We, we think it's just great. On top of that, he also tours and makes millions from that. He is constantly in the news. Everybody is fascinated with Justin Bieber, whether his relationship or what he's wearing or what he's doing. He's got a very strong social networking presence. You know, the guy gets it. He rose to fame on YouTube. He is a child of the social networking world. He's a new kind of star, and that lands him third on our list. In second place this year is Oprah Winfrey. Now, personally, when we were compiling the list, I thought Oprah was going to really take a big drop. Her syndicated show ended in May. Her new cable station own is not doing well, and Oprah herself has come out and said there's been a lot of mistakes made with the network. So how does she still land number two on our list? Well, she still earned a ton of money from her syndicated show, which continued to run in reruns after it officially ended. Uh, Oprah's big owner of that show, she gets a ton of the money. Of course, she has her spin-offs, her protégés like Dr. Oz and Rachel Ray and Dr. Phil. You know, she collects money from all of that. She has radio, she has a magazine. You know, Oprah really is the embodiment of a celebrity who has created an empire. And number one on our Celebrity 100 list this year, a surprising entry, is Jennifer Lopez. Now, Jennifer Lopez is somebody who, like several other celebrities on, on the list, on the top ten even, it seemed like her career was really on the wane a few years ago. She wasn't putting out music, her movies weren't doing well, she just didn't seem to be able to find a footing. Then she got the judge's job on Idol. Now, nobody has taken a position like a judge's job and turned it into more than Jennifer Lopez has. Suddenly, she is the hottest thing out there. Her music is huge. I mean, who has not heard On the Floor? Who hasn't danced On the Floor? It's huge. Jennifer Lopez, in addition to Idol, she has a line of clothing at Kmart. She also has a whole line of fragrances. She has a show that she's doing with her ex-husband called Que Villa, which is in Spanish. You know, she's just, she's everywhere. She's powerful. She's a, she's a draw for the press. And she earned a lot of money this year. We estimate that she earned $52 million over the last 12 months. That's a ton of money, and that lands her in the number one spot on our Celebrity 100.